Hi YouTube, the full setup here back with the Lumia 930, um, it's their latest flagship handset um, and in this video I wanted to show you one of their really great um, camera applications and there's loads of camera applications on it and I'm going to go a bit into that in other videos so please go onto my channel, have a look, look at the reviews and I've done tons of gaming footage on this as well it's really good but it's just an app I really liked, I really loved the idea of it and it's called Nokia Storyteller um, I'll just open it for you, have a little look. And it basically, it creates a story of everything you're doing using like geotagging. Um, so this is kind of, you've got the timeline, which we'll go into in a minute. Um, it's about a quick little day out I had in Oxford. Not the most professionally taken photos. I'm not the most professional and it was really hot. Um, it was terrible weather in the morning. And then it got suddenly hot and I was just bundled with loads of stuff and sweating. So, but you don't want to know about that. But there we go. So we've got timeline. Um, then you've got the places that you've been, so obviously we've only got Oxford at the moment, um, but you, you know, this will build over time and this will just be things you can look back on, whether it's like family photos, holidays, all these different kind of events and stuff that you've done, it's just painted a story for you for the for the day. Um, Favourites, again, we've only got Oxford, um, story videos, which we haven't got any at the moment, so let's go back into the timeline, like, so the day out in Oxford. So firstly, you can play this, um, and you can edit this whole video as well, you can change the music and stuff, so it'll just kind of play through. So we'll get rid of that because we don't want to give everything away that I did. So let's zoom in and I will show you it in the kind of timeline view. Let's go this way. I don't know why it hasn't. Why isn't it? There we go. Right, so here we go. Firstly, I've got off the train. This is me off the train. See the quality of that photo. It's really good. Now what you can do here is you can swipe to the next photo. But we don't want to do that. We want to have a look at our day. We want to have a look where we went. And so there, here we go. We've got a map. And see it's put everything on the map. All different places as well. So you can just literally load up things that are around like if you didn't take a photo you're like oh I went somewhere here you can find out what restaurant you went to you can tell your friends about it and all that stuff and load it up so then first things first basically I've got this neighbour who's got a car alarm that just goes off all the time. I mean, it just goes off all the time and it kept me up all night and I was flagging. I needed a coffee and I spoke about the sun earlier um, and the sun came out so I went to Starbucks um, which didn't geotag at the time because I didn't have this hooked up to my MiFi. Um, and I treat myself to a selection of sunglasses because it was bright. It was real bright. I couldn't even, you know, I couldn't, even this is great out in, um, in the sun and stuff, but still it's quite hard to see. So I treat myself to some sunglasses, got myself a mocha, and I was on my way. So I wanted to really show off. One thing I wanted to show off like this, I wanted to get, actually get out of the sun and show off the low light capabilities of this um, camera because it's just incredible. I couldn't believe how well it performs in low light without flash. So I thought I'd go to the Geek Museum. Yeah, I wanted to go to the National Science Museum. Geek is good. Apparently it was shut that day. It just shut when I got there. So I didn't get to see all the really good geeky features. Um, but there you go. And you can zoom in on this. You can see the details. Like lovely look at the crests and stuff here. I'm still looking at this down my camera anyway, but the pitch quality of this is absolutely perfect. So then I was like, right, where can I go? I need to go thing. I just remembered one of my favourite little spots is the National History Museum in Oxford. God, I sound boring. So I strolled off from Broad Street and got myself down to Parks Road. And I went to the National History Museum. And as you can see, it's got beautifully hot and sunny. Um, I was not pleased. I had a bag on me, and luckily, so I could put all my stuff in it. Um, again, absolutely another beautiful picture. Um, I went inside. So I there, met these dinosaurs, they're good old boys. Um, and I don't know if you've seen the Nokia advert when everyone's trying to bash everyone out the way um, for their like 40 megapixel one. Um, and it's just, you know, you don't really, it's only got a two times digital zoom, but you don't need any more because if I look, I'll zoom in on this. See how much I'm zooming in, the detail and the quality. And see up in the top here, even with all the sunlight behind it, you've got the, the outlines of all the metal work and stuff. So the picture quality on this is absolutely fantastic. But what I wanted to trust was low low light. Actually, oh, there's a quick one. There's me doing a selfie. I wanted to test out the front front facing camera. So there's me doing a selfie. Oh, you are allowed to touch this, don't worry. I wasn't getting in trouble. So then after that, I decided it was time to get this low light shindig down. And I went into Pitts Rivers, which is at the back. Anyone who's been in Pitts Rivers, it's got loads of artifacts and stuff in it. So it's actually really dark. Like, it is really dark in there. Um, so it doesn't damage any of the um, artifacts and stuff. So here's some, like, shrunken heads. And here was one. It's just basically some pots, but it was really, really dark. And I just want to do a quick comparison side by side. I'm going to show this photo. And I'm going to show it with a photo that I took on my Motorola G as well. So you can really see the difference of the low light. So that was it then. By that time, I decided I wanted to go home. But I needed to get a quick quick video so as strolling on the way back through from Oxford I found this cool dude good old boy innit and then that was it then my story was over 
and I was on the way home, feet up on the train, getting my way home. So there we go, that is just a quick video of the Nokia Story uh, Teller application. I think this is something you'll really like, it's something that you'll use quite a lot um, and I just think you'll really enjoy it, it'll just make all your events come alive and you can kind of just show people the stories and when they ask where the place is you can show them it, you can show them everything that's around it. So another absolutely great app for Nokia, thanks for watching and please...